LokiNet is useful for using various internet services anonymously to avoid big tech surveillance. Here's a roundup of six useful LokiNet sites that help you stay anonymous on the internet. You can experience all the goodness of Google, but without any of the side effects. So, press that LokiNet on switch and let's go. First off, directory.loki and there is a bunch of links here for all things LokiNet, Oxen, and Session. And you can find all of these sites that we cover here on directory.loki. LokiNet includes encryption in the protocol, so there is no need to use HTTPS. Of course, all the modern browsers by default go to HTTPS, so you typically have to type in HTTP colon slash slash and in this case we're going to search.priv.loki so s e a r x dot priv dot loki so make sure you type in http colon slash slash in front of it otherwise it won't find it this is a meta search engine which combines results from many different search engines you can go to the preferences here and choose various settings such as language where your autocomplete comes from, whether, whether you use safe search or not. And for instance, the search engines. Currently Bing, Google, Quant, Lingva, and Wikipedia are set. So let's search for Session Messenger. And there it is. Well, it looks like the Wikipedia crash searched here. Oh well. But here you can see all of those results. And you can click on them and they take you straight to there and they don't track you. So you can get Google results but without the Google tracking. And it here shows you which search engine provided the result. Next up, Invidious. If you're like a lot of people, they watch a lot of YouTube videos. Well, you're probably watching this on YouTube right now. Invidious allows you to watch these videos anonymously. The quality is limited to 720p, but for most purposes, that's an adequate resolution. So it's invidious.loki is the address. And let's search for LokiNet How To Windows. There it is. And you can click on this one here and play it. Okay, let's get looking at installed on this computer. This is Windows 10. So there it goes. Again, all the goodness of YouTube, but without the tracking. You'll notice when you go to the main page that it is just a random trending listing of videos not based on what you have been watching that's a f refreshing thing at least for me next one up is lib reddit at libreddit.priv.loki when you pull it up this is what you get here you can search your favorite subreddits and reddit is a must read for many and that's where the masses of the wall street bits congregate to take on the big wall street guys if you want to read anonymously, use this site to do it. So let's pull up Wall Street Bets. And here it is, 13.4 million members. Whoa. And here you can read it just like on the regular Reddit website. Next up, Simply Translate. And you'll find that at translate.priv.loki. So let's click on the Google Translation Engine. We have English to Esperanto. Let's find out what does coin mean in Esperanto. It is Monero in Esperanto. Oh, interesting. So, and it even gives you some dictionary type of stuff down here. 
And finally, Knitter, the Twitter front end. So if you want to read the latest tweets from Elon Musk, but you don't want him to know that you read them, well, use Knitter on Lokinet for anonymity on Twitter. And here is Elon in all of his glory. And if you want to support this channel, please visit privacyproshop.com. You will find high performance, anonymous, locking at VPN services, and you can also purchase a session ONS name using credit cards or various cryptocurrencies. And the best part is that you can stay anonymous throughout the whole purchase if you buy with cryptos. That's it. Have a wonderful day.